Hello friends, welcome to Man's Life Roulette. Today in this video we will see about column bets. Few days earlier I make a video on the same topic with same strategy but I have forgot to mention few things and I will uh, include those two important things to this game for especially online roulette. Uh, the trick is quite simple as you can see here all the table has uh, three columns column number one two and three and you have to bet only at any of the two columns that might be the first column or third column first column second or second or third column in this combination you can bet and where to put your bets is important i will tell you later and what you need to do is to uh, put one dollar or I, I i will not tell it the dollar rather i will call it as unit so put one unit at its first column and suppose uh, you have choose the third column then put one unit here and if you lose if you lose your first pin then your total loss will be the two unit both the unit then add two units now it's become three this will become also three unit suppose you lose another spin another spin then your unit will become two further more that is a uh, five unit here also it become five units and if you suppose win here with the five unit spin no sorry now it's become seven and seven and if you win then reduce two unit sorry one unit from both the position and now it will become a six unit at all the position in this way you can uh, continue your game and uh, the let me uh, tell you the logic behind this addition of two unit after losses so as you can see uh, the payback is uh, two times of your bets if you have bets uh, one dollar at uh, column number one and you own the column number one then it's uh, two times that means you, you will get uh, two extra unit from your bets but uh, when you are covering uh, two columns you only get one unit or two units of bets you have put it on the table so as you are uh, getting less than you are uh, putting on the table you are risking more than you are getting the profit that's why you need to add uh, more than one unit to recover your losses so this is the trick for how to uh, get your progression add uh, two unit after losses and reduce one unit from both the position after your win so selection of the position this is important and i forgot this point on my previous video so the selection of the position is uh, quite important especially for online roulette where you have a statistic like look at here you have a stats like this and he, here is the columns here you can see these are the columns and uh, this is the first column this is the second column and this is the third column so the probability of the first column is 33 per, 31 percent it's uh, second is 32 percent and third is 35 percent so so what you need to do is to you have to choose the cold a one that is a 31 this is the cold one and the hot one this is the 35 the hot one so here you can put your bets on first column and third column and uh, during your game regularly check the numbers the statistic whether which is cold and which is the hot column so this is important and this really works well in online roulette especially online roulette so for next uh, 15 minutes i will uh, going to uh, play my games in, in this strategy i will not divert anywhere from this strategy and try to make profit from this trick so let's watch how the trick actually works so you can see my bank row at my left top corner that is a uh, 51 dollar and i will put the minimum possible bets that allowed in the table that is 0.1 dollar or 10 cent i will call the 10 cent or 0.1 dollar as a unit and after every losses i will add two unit and after every win i will reduce one unit so let's begin the game and uh, see whether how much we can make in our next 15 minutes of game so the hot column and cold column the first one is the cold column and third one is the hot column as we have checked so i will start it by betting with the first and the third column for this trick you need to have a bigger bank row and a smaller bet size whatever the smallest bets, bets possible on the table I would recommend to go for that though the profit is a little bit less if you go with a smaller bankroll then also it's wise to go with that small bankroll the small bad side so first and third first is the cold one and third is the hot one hot column from the table so we have chosen both this position and I, I will tell you where I have chosen the hot one and where I have chosen another cold one the logic is quite simple cold column 
has a less number of chances to win or in the past so here is a there is a chance that the cold one will become hot and the hot one will become cold so as a a, a column can never be at the cold position it, it has to increase so i win here so whenever you win get your one unit bets just repeat the bets same 10 cent or one unit as you can say and continue the game so what i'm telling is uh, as uh, the cold number will not remain in the cold position forever it has to be uh hot so for becoming the hot the column has to be heated repeatedly so that is the logic for choosing the cold one and what is the logic for choosing the hot one because uh, hot one is hot because most number of spins has been uh, uh heated on that position so i lose here so what i need to do here is just rebats and add two units as for my strategy now it's become three unit at both the position as i described you earlier now it's become three unit if i lose here then i will again add two unit to both the position now that then that will become a five unit seven unit like that and whenever i win i'll just reduce one unit from both the position so you may say that uh, progression is very bad you are increasing in a higher rate than you are decreasing after winning and the answer is that uh, you have covered 24 number out of uh, 37 numbers so it's a zero i lose here so what again i need to do is that whether that is zero or one or whatever your losses you need to increase your bets by two units so what i'm saying is uh, this progression especially the progression as you have covered 24 out of 37 numbers so your chances of hitting your selected number from both the column you have put at your bets is quite high almost two times then the chances of missing your non-covered number so if you have played a hundred top spins then there is a possibility to hit your number so i win here so what i need to do is i need to in decrease the bets it was a five unit bets now it's a four unit bets at both position okay so what i'm telling is uh, you need to uh, you will see that uh, if you have played 100 of spins then you will see that at least 60 to 70 percent of the time you will uh, 70 times you will hit the number you have covered because you have covering more numbers and only the 30 percent or 35 percent of time you will miss the number you haven't covered so and after adding two units after losing will give you the advantage of a bigger win over your last losses so again it's a zero so what I need to do here is also just rebats at two units more and continue the game. So I'm saying that uh, adding two units will give you the advantage of uh, winning more than your previous losses. And that will help you in recover your losses. Suppose take an example here, at 60 units I lose, then I will uh, put uh, two units more, then it will become eight unit or 80 cent at both the position. And uh, total loss here is, uh, if I lose here, then total loss will be the 120 cent. And if I win my next spin, which will be uh, eight, like this, I win here at my 60 spin. So now it will become 50 or five unit, you can say. So I have lost uh, just uh, 60 plus 60, 120 cent, but I win uh, 60, uh, sorry, 80 plus 80 plus 80, the profit that is uh, 240 cent i will lose six, uh, 120 cent and again 240 cent in my next bet so that is the the, the gap between uh, 120 and 240 will recover your losses quite quickly so this is an easy method to recover your losses and to make a progression for your profit so it was my uh, sorry five unit spin so now it's time for four unit spin at both position in this way uh, you can recover your losses if you have lost somewhere and you, you can recover your losses by adding two units and regularly you can make a profit of uh, one unit that is uh, if you are, i'm playing it 10 cents so 10 cents of profit after every spin i own or miss that doesn't matter <clears throat> so for this trick you need to have actually a bigger bankroll so it was my four unit spin and i win here as you can see now it's a three unit spin and friends, one more thing, uh, during your game, you need to regularly check the statistics, which is the coldest column and which is the hottest column. So now, as, as you can see here, uh, let me draw you first. Now, this column, column number two, 
has 31 percent of chances column number one 32 and it's 35 so column number two now became the coldest one and column number three is still at the hottest position so now i need to shift my bet from a first and third column to second and third column this is quite important this is especially a trick for online tool as you can say so i win here also so uh one minute oh it's my 30 unit spin so now it's a 20 unit and i have as you can see i have shift my spin as bats from first and third column to second and third column because the uh, combination of wind hot and cold has been changed cold uh, number one uh, column became cold it's not remain uh, coldest one now so i have uh, shifted to the coldest one So it's a twenty dollar spin, or oh sorry, twenty cent spin, or you can say two unit spin, and I lose. So as for my strategy, whenever I lose, I just rebet at two unit to both the position. Now it's become four unit. This is a quite simple and efficient trick to make profit from roulette table. You don't need to have so many calculation, or don't need to predict the number which is the last number, or what are the previous numbers and what number will come. Right now, you don't need to do that. You you can only simply follow the strategy of two, covering two columns with the uh, unit bets, a smaller unit bets, and increase the uh, two units at both the position after every losses, and uh, reducing one unit from both the position after every win. So it's a win. So it was my forty dollars spin, or oh, sorry, forty cents cent spin. So now it's a thirty or three unit, you can say. It's better to call it a unit rather than a cent or a dollar because the unit size is different for different people. If you have a bigger bank roll of thousand to ten thousand dollar, you can go with ten dollar unit. If you, as I am, I have a small bank roll. I am putting only ten cent spin or ten cent bets. So it's better to call it a unit. So I hope you understand where what is the logic behind the putting the bets in such a way in. First the hottest one and the second the coldest column. So it was a three unit spin and I win the three unit spin. Now it's a two unit at both the position. And also you, you may have understand that uh, increasing two units after every spin has uh, actually to recover your losses, not to make profit. Your profit will come from that simply 10 or one unit that you own from a simple single more unit bets at both position. It's a slow winning process, but definitely it's not so risky. You can survive for a longer period of time. So I win my two unit spin also. So here it's time for one unit spin. This trick is uh, quite simple to uh, apply it in your roulette table. And, and uh, watching the statistics that I uh, shown you is uh, quite important in online roulette where a statistic is already available. So friends, I have completed all my cycle. I have started from one unit bets and, and grown up to nine unit bets and reduced the bets one after another by reducing one, one, one unit. And finally, I won my one unit bets. So I have completed a whole cycle of bets and I haven't taken much risk. During this uh, game, I have uh, lose so many spins own, and own also few spins. So it's uh, not important for this trick how many spins you own or how many spins you lose. But at the end of the game, you will get the profit. So you can see at my top left corner, now the bankroll is the $52.41. So within this uh, 10 to 15 minutes of play, we have made a profit of uh, 14 unit. Suppose I'm telling I'm playing with a 10 cent spin, so 14 unit means 1.4 dollar for me. But if, if you play for a 10 dollar unit, then that uh, 10 minutes will make you the profit of 140 dollar. It's depend upon your bankroll. It's depend upon the bet uh, minimum bet size allowed on your table. So friends, uh, I hope you get this trick. Let me remind you one more. Uh, this is quite simple. You have to put a uh, uh, bets on two columns as minimum as possible and add uh, units uh, two units 
at both the position after every spin every losing spin and reduce uh, one unit from after every winning spin and the selection of uh, the column is uh, quite simple you have to choose the coldest column and the hottest column and the logic i have expressed you during the video so guys if you like this video then please uh, share this video with your friends who are uh, active in roulette so that they can also make profit from roulettes and finally guys uh, please subscribe my channel and press the bell notification for more updates in and tricks in roulette so thanks for watching thank you